bit more energy? Almost there, right? Now really, I want to applaud all of you for being here. I mean, it's a true commitment um, for participating and, and, and really a fabulous program this whole day, I, I would say. I've, I've learned a lot myself too and taken some notes and, and taken them with me for my own personal uh, growth and, as well as, you know, uh, using that when I'm in different uh, scenarios or different meetings that we can talk in corporate America and our stakeholders and so forth. So, Again, um, we want to make it, one of the things that we talked about um, prior to starting, we had a conference call a couple weeks ago, and, and we said, what do we want to get out of this? What, what do we want to project to you as, as participating in, in this uh, panel discussion? One of the things that I, I uh, told the panelists was that uh, I you know, attend a lot of different events, participate in a lot of events, and, and so forth. And one of the last things I, I don't want to say to you guys at the end is, sorry, we're running, running out of time. Uh, we can't take the questions. and. You know, send an email and, and the panelists will get back to you. Uh, that kind of drives me nuts on that sense. So we want to make sure that it's very interactive and, 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 and effective for you guys. Uh, my name is Alan Gutierrez and I'm uh, Executive Director of the Latino Coalition. Uh, we're a nationwide nonprofit. Uh, we're based here in Irvine and also have an office in Washington, D.C. Um, we cater and, and uh, we offer tools and services to Hispanic business owners across the country. And for me, entre entrepreneurial uh, spirit it is it's in my blood in that sense, I would say. So I'll say a little bit about myself. You know, when I was in uh, junior high, I, um, getting into you know, high school, uh, you know, we started looking for part-time jobs and what we want to do. And for me is, I did not want to work in McDonald's or any of those, you know, standard type of, nothing against them, but I just didn't want to. So my dad is in the janitorial business. And I said to myself, um, what is it that that company's doing that maybe I can get a contract or do something? Now. I'm not an uh, electrician, I'm not a technician, an engineer, but I learned to fix vacuum cleaners. So I went and, and proposed to his company that he worked for, for me to be the main person to fix all their vacuum cleaners. At that time, they had uh, the contract for cleaning for all the Robinson's Mays, and for you that, for all of you that lived here in Southern California, well, you know, instead of Robinson's May are now Macy's. So from uh, San Luis Obispo all the way down to San Diego, um, you know, I'd get a shipment of all the, the vacuum cleaners that broke down, and I would fix them. And that was my, my income for high school, in that sense. So for me, you know, it's always, the, for me internally, is always looking at, you know, ways of, you know, that uh, innovative thinking of what we can do. Now, an entrepreneurial spirit, you know, you, you, you take a lot of risk and so forth. Prior to Latino Coalition, I also was um, at the United States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce as a Chief Operating Officer there in Washington, D.C. Worked a lot with the Hispanic community grassroots efforts in helping business owners. And prior to that, I had the opportunity to be at the Small Business Administration uh, for almost five years uh, in, in the front office with leadership. So it, it's in my blood and, and I really, you know, I, I'm passionate about it. It's something that, you know, it's it, it's always been my portfolio. So I'm really happy to be here and, and want to introduce to the panelists. And, and what we want to do is, um, let me introduce them first and then um, and uh, start with a question for them and have them uh, give you a perspective of what they believe in the entrepreneurial spirit and how to, to capture that and what, why is it important. You know, I'll leave you uh, 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 one, one thing, you know, uh, how, how, many, how, many, you know how, many, how many of you are familiar with, uh, you know, FedEx? Uh, how many are familiar with uh, Nike? Ben and Jerry's? Hewlett Packard? Guess what? They all started in the garage. An idea, a concept. And now look at them now. So that's something that we want to talk about in regards to, you know, what, how important, why is it important, the entrepreneur spirit, and, 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 and the ideas that we take from the different communities and, and bring them out to the, to the workforce. So um, let me start by introducing you to Anita Perez Ferguson. She's an author and a trainer. Uh, she's here from Southern, the Southern California area, the Santa Barbara area. We also have uh, Harry, Harry, nice to meet Fridler, um, he's a, a senior director for a global relations management firm. We also have Luis Cunha, uh, marketing exec, uh, executive for IBM. Uh, he, we really don't know who he is. He hasn't been around all day. He finally, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's about time he woke up out of the hotel and kind of you know, decided to participate. <laughs> Taking advantage of the Southern California weather. Um, we also have um, Joe. Uh, Sheriff, um, also a uh, who's a uh, very important man in terms of looking forward to reading your book, Latino Lincoln, what you have to say and the perspective from your industry. 
and Nitty, I'm not going to try how you said earlier about your, you know, it's your name. You said you'll repeat it later. Okay, we'll go for this Nitty. Right. Uh, very uh, successful uh, president of the Sanchez uh, Richard Agency out of Washington, Ricardo Agency, Sanchez Ricardo Agency out of Washington D.C. So uh, an entrepreneur herself as well. So we look forward. So um, what we wanted to talk about is is they're coming from different perspectives, different fields in terms of you know what their definition is of entrepreneurial spirit and why is it important, what, how we can capture that, and also then have an interactive of, of, and relates, what questions do you have, what, you know, from our different perspectives and experience, what, what can we um, provide to you that you can take with you uh, for your membership, for your constituencies, or for you yourself, and I think given the fact of the recession, a lot of times people say, well, you know, the, the recession, you know, we're all, it's terrible, and it's a challenge and so forth, but one thing that does create is, you know, if you've been with the company for 10 years or 15 years, you've always had something in the back of mind, I really wanted to start this, I really wanted to start it. And unfortunately, you lose your job, and you're at a crossroad, and, and you get to that opportunity, and say, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my, both of my feet in and take that risk and, and, and go with it, you know. So we'll, we'll talk about that as well. So uh, Anita, what, what, what's uh, from your perspective in terms of, you know, the entrepreneurial spirit and the importance of it? very much. I'm happy to be here and happy to bring some toys to play with because I think at the end of the day when we've heard a lot of speakers and been sitting for a long time, no matter how wonderful they were, we're all going to be tired. So I want you to think about this sock that I have in front of me and this piece of string that's actually on your name tags. Well, I tell you a little bit about my mother and how that relates to the entrepreneurial spirit. We go very fast on this. Um, one of the things that my mom used to say is that um, you make do with what you've got and make something out of nothing. And it comes very often if we're brought up in a household or find ourselves in circumstances where there's limited resources, we actually become very innovative and that innovation leads to an entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, the economist that is best known for defining innovation and entrepreneurial spirit, I wrote his name here, Schumpeter, a European economist who says that being a, uh, an innovator or uh, an entrepreneur is not just starting your own business. It is anyone who thinks of a different way of doing something. Anyone who makes a change to a process. Anyone who thinks creatively about how something can happen. And so with that, let me ask you to hold this mic. Because one of the ways that any parent may know about what this sock means to measuring something is that when you're a parent, you often have your children shopping for socks and you measure the size of their foot by holding this sock from heel to toe around their fist. Now, a real mathematician would say, well, this is a metric system that we're trying to figure out a particular measurement, but a mother in a shop with her child is going to be an entrepreneur and find a different way of making a measurement. A seamstress that is at her desk, not far from here, in East LA, if she says we need to have three feet of cord to put into this design, is not going to go looking for a yardstick or any other kind of measure. She's going to hold this to her nose and extend her nose. You're shaking your head because you know this measurement to the end of her arm. Now, that means that she's going to be about my size, but I'll tell you what, in the sweatshops of East LA, most of the women are about our size. <laughs> the idea of having a new, thank you, or different method of a process that takes it away from a strict analytic measurement or procedure that may be called for in the business world, in the scientific world, in the academic world, is innovation and an entrepreneurial spirit. Making a change with what you have to figure out the answer to your question. I just wanted to open with that so that we could expand our idea of what being an entrepreneur really means. You may certainly take that idea, have a new invention, and be able to move with it and start a company, or you may just get the idea and sell it.